Great to see you here again. My name is Luc de Custer, founder of the Custer Academy. And in this video, I'm talking about the sampling distribution of a proportion. We looked at the sampling distribution of a normal distribution, but now we're going to look at the sampling distribution of a proportion. But before we continue, don't forget to click the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about. Now, when we look at the proportions and we want to look at the sampling distribution, we also want to know the proportion of the information which complies with a certain condition. For example, good or bad, yes or no. And we want to get a sample proportion to use as reference for decisions. We want to compare the population proportion, pi, with a sample proportion, p. And in certain conditions, when the sample size is sufficiently large, we can use the normal distribution as approximation. So let's have a look at the formulas that we can find here. First of all, we can use the normal distribution when the product of n times pi is smaller or equal, uh, sorry, larger or equal than 5, and the sample size multiplied with 1 minus pi is also larger or equal than 5. So basically, we have to see when those things, those conditions are true, we can say that the mean is equal to the mean of the proportions or the proportion that we selected, which is equal to the average of the set, all the set of the proportions. We can find the standard error, which is the sigma of the proportion, sigma small p, is pi times 1 minus pi divided by n, and we take the square root of this. The next thing we have to do is to calculate the z, z value, to calculate the percentages, and the z value is based on the same principle as the uh, z value that we had before, p minus pi divided by sigma p, where p is the proportion that we found in the sample. Now let's have a look at an exercise. And in this exercise, first thing we are going to look at some, um, let's say, real example or a possible real example. We look at the Czech producer of glassware, uh, glassware, sorry, and they uh, sent items all over Europe and they find that there is some uh, rate of damage which is around 15%. So they send out Christmas ornaments and they show a damage rate of 15%. One company reported a damage rate of 18% on the last delivery of 500 ornaments. Now when we look at this we want to find the probability that 18% or more ornaments will be broken on delivery. And we're going to use the formulas we've seen in the previous slide and then apply the properties of the normal distribution on it. So what's the solution here? We first have to verify the conditions. So n times pi is 500 times 0 0.15 is 75, which is clearly larger than 5. And we do the same with n times 1 minus pi is also 500 times 1 minus 0 0.15, which is 425, and it's also larger than 5, so we can use the normal distribution. First thing, or the next thing to do, is the calculation of the mean and the standard error for the sampling distribution. The mean is mu p, so the value that we had before, 0 0.15, at the 15%, and we can calculate sigma, the standard deviation, which is 0 0.15 times 1 minus 0 0.15 divided by 500, and that gives us 0 0.16. With those two numbers, we can calculate the probability. We start with using the z value. So z is p minus pi divided by sigma p. So we have 0 0.18, that's the value that we measured, minus 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.016, which gives us 1.88. So basically, we are at 1.88 standard deviations to the right of the average of pi of the 0 0.15. Now, what's the probability that the proportion that we have bad, uh, that we have damages, is larger than 
or equal than 0 0.18? Well, we have to look in the table and we find, depends which table that we have. In our table, we typically find the probability or the surface between the average and the z value. In this case, it's 0 0.4699. And we have to subtract that by 0 0.5 to find the probability, the surface to the right of the z value. And we find here that that probability is about 3%. So that means that when we look at this information, we can estimate that there will be a 3% probability that samples that or products that are sent to distributors, that they will have this amount, 18% of damages on the order. So that was it for this uh, video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. I thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye-bye.